Okay. This is a hard topic to talk about, but it's a, it's a, it's a situation where I'm just kind of like figuring out how to react to it. But here we go. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my vlogs. And this vlog is going to be a wee different. So y'all know already, um, you've seen my friend Ayana in past videos and she's a great friend to me. She's one of my best friends ever. And it's crazy because we've only known each other for a year and we met at work exactly a year ago I believe or at least we became close friends exactly a year ago and at first when I met her at work it was just kind of like oh she's you know she's a really cool girl turns out she also likes CNBA and she likes basketball and sneakers and so we had a lot in common in terms of like our interests and stuff. So I'm like, oh, she's really cool. And we started hanging out. We went to watch Uncle Drew um, together. And so fast forward a whole year, like we became really close. Like I tell her everything and we share just so many like inside jokes. We would just kind of like look at each other and laugh and no one would know what we're talking about because it's just almost like telepathy. Like when someone says something and it triggers like an inside joke or like a memory that we both share we would just look at each other and just laugh i thought you were gonna hold the camera cow hmm. when you work at a place like mine and you get free food all the time of course you want to carry these essentials to store the free delicious healthy nutritious catering food that they have and I would expect you of all people to know about that because I'm pretty sure when I looked in your desk, you had nothing but Tupperware and empty honey packets in there. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were not gonna break character. <laughs> A few weeks ago, she left New York and I've known this already. I've known that she planned on leaving New York. At a certain point when she told me that she was like she made up her mind and she was leaving New York. I was not depressed, but I was very sad. I've never had a friend who is leaving the city that we both live in um, and grew up in, you know? Like it shocked me at first and I was learning to accept the fact that she's leaving New York and I'm, I was like learning how to respect her decision because I just see family and like people close to me as like just people close to me, like physically distance wise close to me and it's hard to kind of let go of that concept and accept a concept where we can still remain friends but like in a different part of the world and she's not even moving that far honestly like she's still in the east coast so that's good but for me i was just kind of like still trying to accept it still trying to like wrap my head around it a few weeks ago she officially left new york and she didn't tell me on the day she left because she knew how I would react and I was just kind of like, I would just, I wouldn't know how to handle it, right? So when she finally left, in which I didn't really know of, I had a feeling she left because we hung out on August 16th and it just like, there was a vibe, you know, like there was a vibe where I just kind of felt it would be one of our, one of our last times hanging out, but I, I didn't really like, you know, think too much about it. The next day she left uh, on August 17th, I believe, or at least that's what she told me. That's it, <laughs> I guess. And this is my home. That's my car. I arrived the later. Zachariah, Emily, and Chastity. How did you just pull names like, out of your ass? It's like, Zachariah? That's a real name. Like Zachary and Mariah. Oh, this is a nice shot. I did vlog that day when we hung out at um, the vessel on the 16th of August. And it's crazy. It's been like several weeks already, like at least 20 days, I believe. We were at the vessel at Hudson Yards. I was actually blown away. Like I was impressed. 
um, the views up there uh, and just Hudson Yards in general. I really like Hudson Yards. We had a great time that night um, at the vessel slash Hudson Yards. And I guess this will just be a vlog dedicated to Ayana. If you're watching this, I know you're not watching this because you never watch my vlogs. What do you think of the beehive? It's um surprisingly enough, I don't feel Beyonce's presence here. Well, it's because so you, you, you didn't say the code. You have to say, hey, Miss Carter. Miss Carter. It was still you. Everyone knows that that was you. Know your mouth move. Hi, Miss Carter. And there we go. I'm just gonna CGI that in. <laughs> <laughs> we out here. I thought you were gonna run away. <laughs> Whoa. I'm gonna miss you. I'm not dying. So no, but like I'm not gonna see you every day. You don't. <laughs> well, it's gonna be harder to see you every day, yeah. No, I don't think so. Maybe in the future she'll come back to New York, um, who knows. Maybe in the future she'll move even further away to like the west coast. I guess like she taught me a lot of things within this past year is that I really learned to discover more of myself and like what I'm interested in and like places I want to go. And I've been thinking like I don't have to stay in New York either. Like wherever I feel like I should go to or belong to or just I don't know, explore. I should just do it. But there is a place that I'm very interested in and I think you guys can probably guess like I told one of my friends I didn't tell I didn't tell one of my friends but like I hinted at one of my friends telling him that there is a place I really want to move to and he guessed it immediately because he knows me really well. I'm not actually sad anymore. Like I've actually moved past it but I just kinda wanted to like to reflect on this whole situation and reflect on my reaction to her decision. Obviously, I wish nothing but the best for her. Uh, I can't wait to see her again uh, when she comes back because she says she's gonna come back for her birthday and we're gonna celebrate her birthday. So I'll see her again. It's not like I ain't gonna see her no more. She was able to kind of get me out of my comfort zone and just like chill and be more laid back because I've always been a very uptight person. Like everything I do has to be perfect and everything I do has to be done in perfection, executed perfectly and just everything, everything needs to be in line for me and everything needs to be ordered and balanced. But for her, it's just kind of like play by ear and sometimes that's a great thing and I need to learn that. Again, Ayana, if you're ever watching my videos and you happen to stumble upon this one, um, just know that I wish you the best of luck. And I just hope you stay out of trouble and um, you know I love you forever and ever and ever. I can't ask for like a greater friend. So there's that. Poured my heart out in this video. Thanks for watching. Um, come back for more videos I guess. I don't know. Turn on bell notification for new video alerts. I honestly don't know how YouTube works anymore. I feel so old like a fossil on this platform. And a lot of things are happening in 2020 that I'm really like excited for, but also nervous and scared. And it's like a big change in my life. And I just triggered, like my anxiety is just off the charts and um, that. So I'm just gonna stop talking. I never know how to end videos. <laughs>